redo, this is, if you're coming back to MathCAD and forgot how to do things, where things are and what's taking place. I'm using a version of MathCAD called MathCAD 14. If you want to see the toolbars, there are a bunch of toolbars that are under view, quite a few. They give you a bunch of different applications. For example, there's a graphing toolbar, which will show up over here. Let me stick it in there. There is also a, let's pull some other ones up, a calculus toolbar, pull back into our video screen. There's one with Greek characters and symbolic, there's also with symbolic characters. So a whole bunch of toolbars from which you can pull things. Also, if you want a function under insert, there is actually a list of functions. And from that, you get a, a list of functions you can either just do alphabetical with all, you see arc cosine, it gives a description of them down here. Okay, so you can also look up others, we can roll down, or all different types of functions. Some of them are not obvious, so you can go by the categories, which are on the left-hand side, but you can find the eigenvalues of a square matrix. So a number of different ways in which you can record this information. Okay, so entering, just type, I want to enter and set something. So if I type the letter G, MathCAD uses context sensitive equal sign. So if I type an equal sign right now, it will give me G. Because G is already defined as a value, in this case 9.807 meters per second squared, it's defined and it includes its units for the acceleration due to gravity. And so I type the letter R in the equal sign. R is already not is not already assigned, doesn't have any designation. So it generates a colon equal sign. That colon equal sign is an assignment equal sign. And so I can type something, I can say R is equal to 12 times, times is shift eight or asterisk, times 47.32. And I'm gonna divide the whole thing. If I hit spacebar, that little part gets bigger. I'm gonna divide it by the square root. The root symbol was actually a backslash, square root of three. I click off of it, it's done the calculation. Now to recover it, I can type R and a regular equal sign, and I get 327.843. I usually, rather than using the, the uh, context sensitive equal sign to make sure I don't get too confused, I usually type R and then colon, and that gives me the colon equal sign. Either way works though. But this has done the calculation. If we had had units in here, if this was 12, times meters, and if the bottom was divided by seconds, which is SEC, the units end up included in the expression. If you want to change the units to, for example, you want to change the units to, let's say you want to do inch seconds for this nonsense calculation, type in inch, right? And now it's doing second inches. Right. You can also go in that and you can change this to feet. Right. And then seconds feet. Now, if you don't know what units you want to enter or what's possible, you double click on it, it gives a list of possible units that you can insert. For example, you can insert units of frequency if you want, if it was appropriate. Obviously, you can't substitute them for length, but it gives you all the possibilities in length. You can have bores, cubits, furlongs, I put the furlong down. Select furlong. The furlong is one down. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, you can enter a number of values that way. If you want to write a function, let's say we want to write a function. Let's say we want to write the expression y equals mx plus b as a function. So y of m, comma x comma b colon equal sign describes a function so whatever i do on the right hand side so m shift 8 or asterisk m times x plus b defines a function now if i take that function and i put in values y 23 comma 50 comma 19, I get 1.69 times 10 to the third. It's done the calculation for me. Now if I wanted to plot that, 
I can go up here under insert, graph, oops, let me click off of it, insert, graph, xy plot, and let's say I want to make this, I'm going to copy this to make it shorter, copy, paste, I'm going to change the x value to just x, and I'm going to put x here. Let's see what happens. So it automatically plots that for you. And what it's done is it's actually taken this dummy value and it said it can be a range of from minus 10 to 10. This is a way in which you can kind of manually manipulate a given calculation. So let me move this a little bit. The easiest way to move it I see is to do that. You got that type of selection box. I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Click on it and you get that selection box. Okay, so we've made it larger. Now, if I click on this, double click on it, I can get and change the scaling. So I can show uh, grid lines if you'd like. I can apply a number of different values. I can assign characteristics to the lines. I can change colors of the lines. Okay, so, so you can enter a number of things. So there's some controls there. You can also change the range here these little placeholders, and I can enter whatever range I want. Oops. Just click once. Let me make it for that number. Minus 100. Make this one 100. And it'll continue and put in the x values for all of those. So it's pretty nifty. You don't actually have to use a range variable, nothing really complicated. And that's really a simple way to enter a graph. Okay, well, this was the first in a series of MathCAD refreshers. This is how to plot a graph the easy way. Um, if you want to change these axes, you can also change these numbers. Essentially select that out and let's say you just wanted this to go to 1000. You can go to 1000 and it will cut it off something like that. Okay, well I hope that was useful and uh, we'll stop recording.